Yeah, one time it's your boy DJ Monte represent Home Camp, man. Top quality production, Southern Style DJ, man. Y'all watching Contact Atlanta. Holla at your boy. Uh, musically, where do you get your inspiration from? My, uh, musically, I just love music. You know, I just love from a DJ point, producing point. I just love music. So my inspiration is, man, I just want to be a big part of it. Like, but as far as who I look up to, it's probably like Dr. Dre and how he take his time. Flow riders get low affected your career. Phew. <laughs> it, it, it affected it a, a whole lot, man. You know, I'm really blessed to have a song that was just that big, you know. Because I, I, me being in this music business, I never thought that it was that kind of money, you know, or that kind of success in one song. You know, so that's my goal for this year is probably do at least like two or three. Working with artists like Gucci, Titty Boy, Young Joe, Yo Gotti, what artists would you like to work with in the future? Whew. Uh, or do you have a couple? Uh, I wouldn't mind doing something like Jay-Z or something like uh, Black Eyed Peas. I mean, I really take a little bit of everybody from uh, everybody. What industry lessons have you learned from mentors, DJ Jelly and Big O? Um, for one, they were like my big brothers when I was younger, so I learned a lot from them. Like as far as just maturing, what not to do, what 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 I can do, and and um, just showing me how to work. Really, just showing me how to be independent, showing me how to grind, showing me how to how to just stay persistent, staying focused on my goal and my task, and not really giving up. Describe your role within Big Up Records. My role, um. I would consider myself as one of the leaders, right along with MC Assault and DJ Jelly, and you know, of course, Big Boom as the boss, but one of the leaders of amongst a, a, a few, like, and, um, you know, just being a motivator, just like how MC Assault and, and Jelly were, were to me, and you know, just trying to keep the business going. Has the internet affected the careers of independent artists and producers? Well, as far as producers, I mean, as far as artists, I believe the internet helped them as far as building more fan bases. They can touch more people within minutes, like, on the internet. They can touch, like, millions of people opposed to being in one city and state. They had to build up from Atlanta and having everywhere else to catch on. At, you know, it, it all like a delayed reaction, but now it's like, Everything happens at one time almost, but you know, for the for the for the for the artists, it's, it's, it builds a big fan base. For the producers, it's kind of harder because you have to produce more. You have to produce more tracks just to be a part of the mixtape game because a lot of that stuff producers are giving away beats yeah, free. The internet may level the playing field between independent artists and those with major record deals. Oh uh, yeah, once they figure it out, it's just like you know, music had went through a lot of transitions from. Eight tracks to cassette tapes, you know, from cassette tapes to CDs, and now it's from CDs to internet. Which you know, I believe it's all gonna pan out and work out because you know it's a lot of money in this music business, and it's a lot of being lost, and it's, it's a lot can get gained from the music business. So, I what advice would you give to aspiring producers? Um, never give up, man. If it's your if it's your dream and your goal, then you know you gotta fight for your dream and your goal, man, and Believe in God because I, I pray at least like two or three times a day throughout my work, you know, so just to give me the strength to keep going forward. So if you really truly love music, then you keep going, keep fighting because, man, I've been doing it for 15 years. Never knew that it was going to be like this and it was just really God. It really kept me going, really, because I never had a 9 to 5 job. So just for me to be living, I have my own and doing everything else, it's just been God and faith. And actually doing what you love. And for doing living. what I love, right. Right. Staying focused. Definitely makes a difference. Yes. If you don't love it, if it's just something that you're trying to do to get a quick dollar, Right. it ain't going to be no quick dollars. Last shout outs that you have for your fans and whatnot, what do you want to say to your fans? Oh yeah, man. Uh, make sure y'all hit me up on Twitter, at DJ Monte. Make sure you check out my website, www.djmonte.com dot com and that's it